It all kicked off with a march from the southern wing of parliament to the speaker's office with a group of legislators from the opposition singing on top of their voices. We shall overcome. We shall Destination, the Speaker's office to register their disgust with the conduct of her deputy Jacob Olanya following the mayhem that saw Aru County MP Odongo Oto tear the attendance list of members. Led by the opposition chief whip Winnie Kiza, they handed over the petition to the office of the Speaker, instructing that a copy should not be availed to Olanya, whom they accuse of being what they call a disgrace to the sovereignty of Parliament. Later, they retreated to the South Committee Room, where the tunes continued. We shall overcome, oh, we shall overcome, oh, we shall overcome. Their petition follows the decision by the Deputy Speaker, Jacob Olanya, to disregard their objection against his decision of proceeding with a vote on the bill without recommitting the contentious Clause 8 in the Public Order Management Bill. In their address to the press, these legislators made it clear they owe the Deputy Speaker no apologies, warning that more should be expected. We stand by all our colleagues who were suspended from the House yesterday, that we will no longer walk out of the House to give way to the mafias to determine the fate of Ugandans. We haven't prepared even on Tuesday to do much more than actually what they did, because we believe in that. We have to stand up and defend our rights. We have a problem with you. You are just a hooligan. The opposition that also announced the suspension of their walkout protest vowed to resort to the laws of the jungle to save the day, with the government side daring them to bring it on. Actions will depend on the manner the chair has decided to handle issues. MPs on the opposition side should not think that they have the monopoly of chaos. No, every human being can cause chaos and can fight. Lumumba says there's a reason to worry as she suspects what she calls adverse effects of drugs at play. So if a member can stand up to promise to beat others, then that means there are question marks on the drug content in somebody's body. Olanya is faulted also on grounds that he failed to observe Rule 7-2 of Parliamentary Rules of Procedure, which showed outright bias during his direct participation in the proceedings, which they say was in violation of Rule 68. More drama is expected on Tuesday when Parliament reconvenes to consider the controversial Public Order Management Bill. Sabit Joseph, Television, Parliament.